Hey guys, welcome to a brand new video on the channel. So in this video, we're going to go and look at a D&D, which is massively beneficial to a new account or an account building up to max. And we're going to go and venture into familiarization. Now, if you think I'm doing this pretty much last minute, that's because you're right, because familiarization is on a timer and you have to keep an eye out for when it's going to be active. So with familiarization, you go and speak to the NPC in Tavoli and you can ask to find out the location. So what we're going to do is going to go to Tavoli now and find out from the main man what the location is. I actually already know the location because I've done it on my main because I wasn't sure if the bomb account could go and find it. So what familiarization does is a mini game which you can play once a, I don't know if it's a week or a month. No, it's a week. So I've actually got the wrong D&D token anyway. So what you need to do is go to Tavoli. The familiarization pop-up can come in your chat as well. Just make sure you don't have it filtered if you are looking at doing this. It's going to give you a pre-warning of when familiarization is going to occur. So you go to pick up stick and you go to find obelisk. Here he'll give you a location of where it is. So you just have to tell you where. As you can see, he's just told it it's surrounded by jungle with Dracolith near, which is actually going to be near the nature altar. That's why I brought the Wicked Hood, is because we're going to go to the nature altar and then go and play for realization. But you need to go to pick up stick to find out where the location is. I will put a wiki link to all the locations just in case you want to do this and you want to find out where they are. So we have the monthly and weekly DND. So once I've done my first round of familiarization, I can use the DND token to basically reset it. And that means when I've got the reward, I've got two because I'll show you where I'm going to use it after we've finished it. So if I go to the nature altar, there should be an obelisk there. And then we should hopefully see the main man. There he is. So speaking to him again, this is the first time the Bonacan's account's actually done it. It is only once a week you can do it. But again, you can use your tokens to reset it. And in my opinion, it's probably one of the best ones to use your tokens on as well. So once you've told him, you'll have a go and you're going to go in. So basically, we're going to go into the spirit realm and turn into a familiar. So what the goal of this mini game is, is for, oh, we're in end. Cool. These shards here is what we want to pick up. So we need to avoid the beaver and the fire titan as well. So basically, all you need to do is just run around this map just picking up all of the shards while avoiding those two familiars to be fair depending on which familiar you are you won't really get caught out often but it will take the top a beaver and a fire titan just stay out of it so that is basically the emphasis of familiarization you just walk around picking up these shards you will run out of energy at some point as well so you will just have to just plod along you can't bring energy potions or anything like that to spirit plane so you don't um Oh, the beaver attacks me, that's why. So you can't really do anything about that. So the fire titan is the other thing which is going to get me. Is it near any shards? No, that's good. So you just stroll around, plod up, pick up all the shards, and you do have a timer as well. So once you've finished your familiarization, you get a ticket. And rather than you having a reward straight after the event, you have a ticket you can pull whenever you're ready to start it. In terms of things to do for it, one of the best things to do is Archblazor, which is where I'm going to end up doing it. And what I'll do for you lovely people is do an hour of Arch Glacier with my two tickets just to see how we do in terms of rewards and what kind of charms you can expect from a sort of mid-level account with some decent necromancy stats. But the whole point of this is to gather charms. Now, with most accounts nowadays, charms really aren't as important as they used to be because the majority of accounts nowadays are maxed. But if you are looking to make like a huge level of profit with things like binding contracts, having a decent stack of charms are massively beneficial because... You need charms to make binding contracts. So doing this twice a week, if you do have the weekly reset tokens, can probably save you like an extra hour, hour and a half of collecting charms from somewhere like the Arch Glacier or Tormented Demons. Also look at the Little End Wobble queue. Now there is a cap on how many shards you can collect. I forget what the number is. We'll probably get kicked out because we're looking to be pretty decent in terms of collecting. There's another fire titan, stay away. So after a while, more familiars will be linked to hunting you. So you'll just need to keep an eye out on that. Again, as you can see, all it does is just decrease your timer, which for the most part, as long as you're pathing correctly, what I do is go around the outskirts and then just work my way through the middle. There's quite a few to collect in this corner. And then after that, I think it's just the middle we need to go through. Again, this really shouldn't take you much more than 10 minutes. And 10 minutes for the man's time is going to save you in terms of charms. It's pretty big. I think we're talking about like what to best use it for. Arch Glacier is very good. Glacier is very good. Um, or any form of like monster which is going to drop you a serious amount of charms. Like it's just really, really good to have that little bit of a buff. Me personally, I focus on crimsons and blues because it's going to give you the most XP and also because it's binding contracts. But you can use it for whatever charms you want. But even if you're a very low level, 
This can give you the sheer amount of boost you need. Even if you just did familiarization every week, collected the charms for the 45 minutes, if you save those charms for something like a double XP, you're going to save yourself so much time with the amount of charms and XP stacks you can get. Right, so I think we've cleared the outer areas, so we're just going to work on the middle now. I have a feeling it's 60. 60 is the number we're going to have to aim for. So if you ever have enough and you want to leave early, you can leave by the obelisk in the middle. But I really don't think we're far off being done. The time is actually surprisingly long, a lot longer than I thought. 60 shards seem to be the number. I had that number in my mind. I wanted to sort of say just in case I was wrong because, you know, that can happen. And when it does happen, I get very angry comments. Actually, I think I'm wrong. I might be wrong. Yeah, because I can see a lot more than two. Oh, there you go. Yeah, so 60 is the cap. There's more than 60 there, but 60 is the cap. So that is basically, in a nutshell, familiarization. You just walk around and pick up all of the different shards and just make sure to avoid it. But again, you saw by the timer, I got picked out multiple times and it didn't run out. So what you're going to get is an option of triple charms or summoning ingredients. You have to take the triple charm drops because it's just too good of a reward. The summoning stuff, I really don't think is worthwhile. Again, this resets on a Wednesday every week. What you have with this charm drop enhancer is the ability just to pull it at any time and go and kill some form of monster which i'll go and do arch glacial after this after i get this fishing level actually but what i'm going to do is just reset this and go and do it again uh mainly for two brilliant things one i want to see what the summoning like ingredients is whether it's worth doing for like a gp amount but also i need a thumbnail for the video so that is also a very very good reason what are we this time Oh, we're not as good as an Ent. Oh, that's annoying. So, thumbnail acquired. And basically, I've just got to do the same thing as what we did before. Run around and go and collect everything. So, I'm not going to bore you to death with that. So, I'll come back when I'm going to collect my rewards. And really, all I'm going to do is just see, like, how good the summoning ingredients are. I don't think they will be because summoning ingredients aren't really that expensive. But I thought it's worth checking out. And then... What I'll probably do is make a standalone video of going to use the familiarization ticket at Arch Glacier and just see how good it is um, because I think it's really good to show you guys. Maybe I'd do something special with that, but I'll have a little think and work out for that as well. But that is uh, going to be it till now until the end when I go and pick up the rewards. So I'll come back then and we'll wrap up the video. So there we go. It took a little bit longer than the previous go because we had to do some thumbnails and some other stuff. Finished. And if we go and do our reward, let's try summoning ingredients to see if it is worth it. So open we're going to get uh, i didn't realize you could get the um outfit piece so that's interesting so we have the shaman's outfit set but we got 15 red flowers and 473 jugs of water now in i was gonna say in rs's current economy that could have actually been some money but no we made flowers are okay i suppose yeah so we made 112k definitely not worth it take the charms now, like I said, I'm going to use this in a different video. We're going to talk through how it's going to impact in the Arch Glacier. Basically talk through the Invo stuff and just do a like, little sample hour of Arch Glacier to see how many charms we can get. Because I do think Arch Glacier, if it does work there, I have a very, very small feeling it doesn't. But we'll test it out and we'll show how many charms we can get in an hour of collecting. But thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed, please make sure to me like subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys very soon in the next video. Also, Pumpkin Penguin.